वंदे गुरुपद्वंद भक्तबिंद श्री चैतन्य प्रभु वंदे नितानंद सहोदित श्री नंद नंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोदय गोपीजन सामयुक्त बिंदवन मनोहर वाशाकुवश के पास पतितान पावने वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम मुकोतिचाल पंगुल हैतिगिरे ये पातमहंग बंदी परमानंदमाधव बृंदा वै तुलसीदेव वै पिया वै केशव सच स्न भक्ति पदे देवी सत्वत्व नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नर चरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जयो मुदीर संकीर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति जुक्त हो भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोदर धैय सदा परिभवन भविष्ट दूहम तीर्थास्पदम शिव भीरिंचन तम शरण्यम वेतात्म बनोदाल भवादीपूतम वंदे महापुरुष ते चरुनाथिंद यत्दपल्लवन कचंदमि छटाए विस्फुजीत किमी गोदर्शि पूर्णागरसागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामी कदा श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त श्रीकृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्रीअदाधर शिव सदी गौरभक्त हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुजो कनका बुदा तो संकीर्तनय कवितरो कमलाक्ष विशाबरो द्विजरो जुगधर्मपाल वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणावतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तब पाद पंकज सुरासुरवित दिव्य रूप भुक्ति मुक्ति दिनी भावान सदा नरान गंगा तरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तवाम भाग नारायणो प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वरानसीपुरपति भज विश्वनाथ वागीशजुषु वदने लक्ष्मीजस् चक्षसी यस्ते हृदय संबी सिंगम हरे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे
तावद भयम दबिन देह स्वीत निमित्त ताब स्पृहा परिभव विपुलश्च लोह तावद ममो इति असत अवग्रह आरती मूलम जाव न ते अघ्रिमय प्रवृणीत लोक तावद भयम दबिन देह स्वीत निमित्त तावस्पृहा परिभव विपुलश्च लोह तावद ममो इति असत अवग्रह आरती मूलम जाव न ते अघ्रिमय प्रवृणीत लोक गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी जगत भोपाल परमंश जगदगुरु टोल दैट वी गौरी डिबोटी वी गौरियम डिबोटी सरस्वत गौरी डिबोटीज ऑल इज रेडी टू सेड गैलेंस ऑफ ब्लैक फॉर द इमेंसिपेशन ऑफ दोज कॉमन पीपल पॉन्डेड सोल ऑफ दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड वी आर ऑल इज रेडी गौरी गोष्ठीपति श्रीशील भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर बहुपात परमंश जगदगुरु सेट दे वी गौरी डिबोटीज वी गौरी मॉड डिबोटीज ऑलवेज रेडी टू शेड गैलेंस ऑफ ब्लैक फॉर द इमेंसिपेशन ऑफ द कॉमन पीपल ऑफ दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड आई मीन बॉन्डेड सोल ऑफ दिस मेटेरियल वर्ल्ड बार वी नो still there is no guarantee we are ready to shed blood but there is no guarantee that we can save them no such guarantee because bonded soul they have their free will they can apply their own brain by the inspiration of maya they can play their own brain and they can go away from me what we can do Though we can try our best, but still there is no guarantee that we can save them. Guarantee we can, because jibatma they have their free will. They can apply their own brain. They can go away from me by hearing this kind of perfect siddhanta vichar, absolute siddhanta vichar. They cannot digest. They become angry. Angry with me, they can go away. What we can do? We can try our best. This is the order of Bhagwan. Bhagwan is the ocean, infinity ocean of mercy. Bhagwan and Guru Vishnu. Bhagwan is the ocean of infinity mercy. Also, Guru Vishnu there also is the ocean of infinity mercy. but still bonded soul cannot catch bonded soul cannot realize bonded soul can realize the love affair between hero and heroine that love affair they can understand they can understand the love affair between material mother and father they can understand but they cannot understand the heart of pure guru vishnu how much mercy how infinity mercy there they cannot understand not possible pope speaking it is a nature it is a nature of guru vishnu they are always plan they are always planning different way how to catch fish to catch fish you know in a fisherman they are putting net after that they are going to pure guru vishnu always they are planning different way how to catch fish mani bonded soul and to take them in golok brinda but fish coming in the net but still cha going away so clever clever mean foolish not clever clever mean foolish they yeah. <laughs> so clever they yeah. they don't like to be caught in net of guru vishnu वॉट एवर फेसिलिटी हो दी हरी कथा हरी कीर्तन सो दिस द कंडीशन भगवान कमिंग इन द फॉर्म ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव 
Bhagavan coming in the form of scripture, different books, I mean transcendental sound, Veda, Vedanta, Upanishad, Puran, all different kind of Shastra, Bhagavan sending in the material world from there. Bhagavan going to send all, everything. By chance, if somebody can have a look, oh, it is there, they can change. Who can say? No, no guarantee. So, Bhagavan coming in the form of Shastra, Bhagavan coming in the form of Guru Vaishnav, Balaji Maharaj coming in the form of temple, actual temple, not a temple established by rich man, not that. Balaji coming in the form of Guru Vaishnava Shastra, different from coming. It's one kind of network to catch us and take us there in eternal dham. But still, a very few people, a very few, they are ready. Even in front of Bhagavan, even in front of Bhagavan, Balabhadra could not realize Bhagavadva, Balavadva could not realize this is Bhagavan Krishna, could not realize. But he was with Gauranga Mahaprabhu, is cooking for Mahaprabhu, but he couldn't realize. Kala Krishna Das, he was all the way with Mahaprabhu, right from the beginning of his South Indian tour, all the way. But he could not realize that this is Bhagavan. Ramchandra Puri could not realize that my Guru Padpanda Madhavinda Puri Pad is the eternal Parsad of Bhagavan. Parsad in a way is called We Shielding Tree in Goluk Vrindavan, Madhavinda Puri Pad. There. I mean eternal Parsad anyway. They could not realize. Balabhadda could not realize is Krishna himself. So knowledgeable person. He want to pick up some, you know, judgment. This is the condition. So what about those all other common souls? What about? If those gigant, if those, if those gig gigantic personalities, they are not in a position to realize the fact then is there any guarantee about any? No guarantee. No guarantee. So, in the life of Prabhupada, so many disciples, they left Prabhupada. They could not realize who is Prabhupada. They could not realize this is Prabhupada. Who is he? Could not realize. This is the condition. Mahaprabhu is there. There is no question of Maya. Because you already always recite, na? Jaha Kishno Tahanai Maya Radhikar. You are speaking, na? Jaha Kishno Tahanai Maya Radhikar. Where there is Krishna, there is no question of Maya. You read, na? Always. Where is Krishna, there is no Maya. Jaha Kishno Tahanai. Then how Maya come? Jaha Krishna taha nahi maya rodhika. Follow. In front of Krishna, maya cannot stand. It's one kind of arrangement. To prove that there is every possibility that bonded soul can fall down. They can misunderstand. Follow. There was some Siddhanta Vichara, I have no time to speak. It was the arrangement of Jogumaya, so Putana could reach. But Ballabhattu is not Maya. Balabhadra is not Maya. Kalakishna is not Maya. They are not Maya. They are Jiva. Okay. But still, they are in front of Bhagavan. But still. So, when Kala Krishnadas was there, he wanted to go to join Bhattathari. Because 
Bhattachari, they are living with Mataji's woman, they are everything they are doing, like they are, that those Babaji's there, that side. They are doing everything. Oh, they are. So they wanted to put some, they wanted to put some lucrative offer in front of, in front of Kalakishnava. I already told yesterday, bonded soul have some limit of resistance. Resistance, you know? Uh, limit of resistance, how to protect, has some resistance. Beyond that, if you go, it can break the elasticity and so, Popa told, Popa told, we bond, Popa told many times, we bonded soul can reserve the right of fall down anytime like Krishna Das. Like Krishna Das. Krishna Das, you know, Kala Krishna Das. Popa speaking, we all have the, have the amna, right? to fall down, reserve the right to fall down, like Kala Krishna Das. So no question of expressing proud, I am devotee, I am Acharya, no. Anytime what, what will happen, nobody can say. Balabhadra, he was a very gentleman, very nice devotee. But how it was possible for Balabhadra to believe that Krishna already appeared in, uh, Krishna has appeared in Vrindavan, in Jamuna water, dancing Kalyana. How it was possible for him? Whereas Bhagavan is there in front of him. He started believing and in the meantime he wanted to put request in front of Mahaprabhu. I like to, if you permit me, I like to go and watch Krishna in the night time there in Jamuna, Mahaprabhu speaking foolish. Eh? How possible Krishna can appear? Because in Kalikal, Krishna, Lila Avatar, not doing. Not doing. But he want to go. Finally, what happened? Just next day, one very educated gentleman, I mean, Bhak, so-called Brajavasi coming, and Mahaprabhu is asking from where you are coming. He's speaking, well, I'm coming from Vrindavan. Oh, have you seen Krishna there? Everybody speaking, Krishna appeared there. He's speaking, no, Prabhu is not, is not Krishna. Then, then, what? Actually, night time, one fisherman, busy catching fish in the Chomuna water, with his net, you know, and the lamp is there growing. So from distance they think Kaliyo. I mean the boat is this. So everybody think it is the face of Kaliyo <laughs> And follow. And fisherman is Krishna uh, dancing in water, Jamuna water dancing. Follow. So this way Mahaprabhu was speaking to Balabhadra, you look. So, to save a bonded soul is really impossible or next to impossible. To save a bonded soul from Maya, horrible, impossible, but it's possible. It's possible hundred percent. If they are going to follow Guru Vishnu perfectly from heart in total, then there is no question of fall down. Up to now, there is no such history. Up to now, in, the, in, in our bhajan line, there is no such history that one Snigda Sisha who is totally matured, I mean, Matching heart, I mean, harmonized with Guru Padma, he uh, fall down. No such case. No, no, not such a single case you can find. There is no such a single case. But we are watching all this world, this 
because most of them out of 100%, out of 100%, 99.9%, if not more, out of 90, out of 100%, 99.9% or 99%, they are busy with more or less with material things. They are not concentrating in Bani Sheva, Aprakita Sabda Brahma, which is the only way to get in touch with Aprakita Yoga. They are not. Anyway, if in this world, anyway, if in this world, Bhagavan going to reserve one such right so that bonded soul can get in touch with Aprakita Jagat. Suppose some sadhu, like Prabhupada, Kesha Maharaj, but they think his enemy, they give instruction, don't go there, don't hear Harikatha. They are they're speaking this way. What to do? Prabhupada speaking Harikatha in Radha Kun. The Sahajiya going to put instruction, don't go there, he is not devoting, he is always criticizing. The condition. So, if at all Bhagavan is going to keep one right, I mean, reserve one place where they can have the chance to hear a Pragita Harikatha, still people, all different marks can put some embargo, you know, embargo, like in uh, America, Russia, they embargo, don't go there, we have no connection with They put some embargo. There is a condition. So, there is less possibility. So there is less possibility that this our devotional world can go ahead. Less possibility. By chance, if it happens, it, it can be a miracle. Miracle cannot be counted. Miracle, it can happen so. Even Prabhupada coming today, Bhakti Siddhanta, still people cannot accept. So mispreaching done. So mispreaching done. Even Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati goes to coming and speaking Harikatha. Still people cannot. They can accept some of them. So, so fearful situation, this you know, condition. Because none of them are going to concentrate in Aprakita Bani Sheva. I know some of them educated, some of them having some Sanskrit knowledge, some of them come knowledge about Shastra, but all material. They are not going to utilize it for Guru Vaishnava Seva. They are going to utilize it for their self-interest. I am not speaking there is no educated man, nothing else. Yeah. They understand. Maybe they know Sanskrit also. Or they are educated. But they are going to use, utilize it for their self-interest. They are not going to use it for, for Bhagavad Seva, Gaurang Mahapu Seva. That's why there is a painful condition. When I am going to use my preaching for my own self-interest, then my preaching is not at all preaching. It is cheating. When I am going to use all Sastra Gyan, whatever I uh, got from my Guru Pātpada, Guru Varga, if I am going to misuse it, I can very easily I can do it. I, very easily I can cheat the whole world. Very easily. Bhartima told, I don't like to speak, but I, it is one kind of advertisement, I don't like to speak. It's very easy for me to cheat people, but I don't like to cheat. So, none of them are going to concentrate in Bani Sheva, perfect Bani Sheva. Bani Sheva means direct Seva of Bhagavan. If I am cooking for Bhagavan, it is Seva. But if I am going to from heart, I am going to catch Harikatha from Guru Bhargava. Follow. Cooking is also seva. Everything is seva. But, Shobhanam Kirtanam is the most vital seva. Among all 64 different kinds of limbs are there in devotional field. It is prescribed. But still, Shobhanam Kirtanam Smaranam is the most important without which no possibility of our improvement in bhajan. We cannot do. If we search out the statistics 
of our Gauriya devotional field. If you like to search out the statistics of our Gauriya devotional field, we can find those who got the chance to serve Shuddha Guru Vaishnava, most of them, they fall down. Most, if you make one statistic, you can search out that those devotees who were all busy in Guru Vaishnava Seva, pure Guru Vaishnava Seva, most of them fall down. What can be the reason? Whereas we know, this is the only way to go to Bhagavan, to serve Guru Vaishnava. We know from Shastra, Bhagavan also can speak. Just now I can recite. Bhagavan also speaking, Sadhu Sangha is the only, Guru Seva, Vaishnava Seva, is the only way to drive away Anatta, to get Prema, Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastri Kvai, Lava Matu Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. Sarva Siddhi means, Sarva Siddhi means Bhakti Nathakur and Prabhupada coming to writing in Chaitanya Charitama, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. Lava Matu. One second divided by eleven. One second divided by eleven, that much fraction of second is more than sufficient to give you sufficient momentum so that you can reach Golok Vrindhava. But still, we are unable because we are not doing Sadhu Sangha. Bhaktivinoda Thakur and Prabhupada writing in commentary that Sarva Siddhi Oi. Sadhu Sangha, Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Sastha Khoi, Lava Matto Sadhu Sangha, Sarva Siddhi Hoi. Sarva Siddhi means, Bhakti Mata told, even you can get Krishna Prema, which is a rare treasure. In infinity pair world, this is most rare treasure. That also you can get. Bhakti Mata told, even Krishna Prema, which is impossible. Brahma, Sankar, everybody, but you can get. So, if you make one statistics, you can discover how it is possible. Because we know by Sadhu Seva, Guru Seva, we can go very, we can get a big momentum, we can go to Bhagavan, but how possible most of them fall down? How possible? Because they could not realize that, that the Guru Vaishnava they are seva, we are doing physical seva, but we should, we should remember it is more important to serve their Bani Seva, Bani Bhopu. They, are, they think this Gurudev is material man. They think Gurudev is material man made of blood and flesh, passing stool, I need to clean, what is this? They cannot Surely, 100% they cannot develop a prakito vichar. Who can develop it? You saw me? He can clean the stool and urine of Gurudev and can realize that Gurudev a prakito. Ah, you saw me in the whole world. You saw me in the whole world if you can show me. You saw me in the whole world. Maybe one or two, maybe they have but secretly. Even after cleaning the stool and urine of Guru Patvadna, they can realize Guru Patvadna Aprakito, quite impossible. Next to impossible. You cannot find one. That's why devotee is rare in the world. Such devotee is rare. Who can have practically Aprakito Vichar about Gurudev and his activities, everything. But it is not happening. Ishwar Puribhat was such a devotee, disciple, who was always cleaning urine and stool of Madhavendra Puribhat. Cleaning all the time. Not only that, but also when Gurudev feeling sick, then doing Sankirtan. By Sankirtan, Madhavendra Puribhat feeling very high, like we have seen our Guru Maharaj. Guru Maharaj was in coma state, but still, in Malaya, Malaya is not there, but doing this. Or sometimes this is going, I mean, Midanga. Hello. So, if Madhavandi Puripad feeling sick, then Ishar Puripad is going to sing Kirtan, 
Sankirtan, Midanga, Madhavendra Prabhu feeling very happy. Very happy. When Mahaprabhu used to go in faint condition, then it was the usual practice of devotees to do Sankirtan loudly, na? No? Oh, loudly. Hare Bol, Hare Krishna, then Mahaprabhu get up. It's written there. After hearing Harinam Sankirtan, suddenly get up. What happens? Where I am at present? Mahaprabhu asking. Oh, there was big problem with you. Now you cannot remember. <laughs> Devotee speaking. You jump into ocean. We are fed up to search you out where you are. About, eh? We've gone mad. This way, Mahaprabhu missing. We are gone, who nobody knows. Three locks. Inside gate, medium gate, and outside gate. Three gates are locked. But how is possible Mahaprabhu without opening lock? Vanish, gone. All devotees with hurricane. Hurricane, meaning lantern. They are searching where Prabhu is. Whole night they are searching where our Prabhu gone, our heart. Finally, they discovered Prabhu is lying among small cows of Orissa. Orissa cow very small. They are licking the body of Mahaprabhu and Mahaprabhu like like tortoise, you know, tortoise, all hands and legs gone inside. Mahaprabhu used to say. So we have seen the case of Guru Padma. Externally is in, a, in coma state. But all consciousness there, all is sankirtan and everything going on. Follow. Even when nurse, you know, sister going to give injection, a medicine, Guru Padmada putting hand in on head. Ah, in my whole life, no, Mataji has touched me today. Crying, Guru Padmada. Even in this condition. Guru Bhagavan crying, never no Mataji touch me, but now touching me. Oh my God. Follow this is condition. So, Ishar Puribad could realize 100% Guru Padma is Aprakita. But you cannot realize. You cannot realize. This kind of darshan is rare darshan. This is called Vaikuntha darshan, is rare darshan. But Ishar Puribad was successful to serve Gurudev all the way. He was all square. All square means he was concentrating his own bhajan. Guru Seva is also bhajan. Sankirtan, everything, all square. All Guru Seva alone. That's why. Before leaving this material world, Madhavandu Puripad going to bless Ishwar Puripad. I bless you. You can get Krishna Prema. And it, it came true in the life of Ishwar Puripad. All the treasure, all the treasure of Guru Padma, all the immense treasure of Guru Padma came inside the heart of Ishwar Puripad. Because he is the right authority. He is the right authority. Through perception and channel, he is the right authority to get this kind of chance. But Ramchandra Puri could not realize. Ramchandra Puri could not realize. So he deviated from the track of Guru Padma. So I, I am bound to speak. At present, if you can search whole world and can't find such a pure devotee, such a devotee, I mean disciple of a Paramahansa Guru, who can realize my Guru Padma is a Prakita, though urine and stool, everything there. Even we know the case of Bhakti Yudha Madhugusi Maharaj. So nice looking. But when Srila Maharaj, Manifested Leela of lying down in the bed for months. For months. My Guru Padma only a few months, one or two or three. But Bhakti Madhu for long 
Like Bhakti Valladhi for a long time. That time, he developed bed sore, you know, bed sore, you know. Oh. Then, devotee need to change the mood of sleeping and use powder, everything. And the last moment, when he was in hospital, doctor was fighting to save him, but one nozzle, oxygen, you know, one nozzle, blood going here, I mean saline, saline, one nozzle, urine passing, one nozzle there. Some devotee, I mean the disciple of Bhakti Vita Madhugoshi Maharaj, they went to hospital to take darshan of Guru Dev. Practical experience I am speaking. After watching Gurudev, one disciple, two or three disciples at a time were there. One of them describing, you see, this is a nozzle through which oxygen going, this is a nozzle through which slime, this is a no nozzle urine going, this is the condition of Gurudev, you see. And Gurudev, I mean Madhu Goswami, hearing, and shedding tears, cannot speak anything. They are describing, he is hearing, cannot speak anything to them, lying in the bed. When they are describing, that you see the condition of Gurudev. Ah. Then Gurudev, Madhu Goswami is shedding tears, rolling down. There is a condition of our Guru Darshan. This is our Guru Darshan. So how, how you can get keeper? How, get, how you can expect to get keeper? How you expect? Expectation itself is wrong. Long ago, I came from Vrindavan. That time I used to stay in Vrindavan. I came here in Calcutta. I went to the temple of Sila Bhaman Goswami Maharaj, I mean Devananda Goswami one branch is there, North Calcutta. And that time Bhaman Goswami Maharaj was there, Bhaman Goswami Maharaj was there. So, I was very happy to take his darshan. Usually whenever you, I used to come, either I used to go to Chaitanya Goswami or Devananda Goswami. It depends upon the situation. So one day, when Bhavan Goswami Maharaj was manifesting Sikh Leela, one day night time, 10 or 10.30 night time, I am just doing japa, mala, I, I can take. One sannyasi of Bhavan Goswami Maharaj is uh, standing in front of me and talking something. And suddenly Bhavan Goswami Maharaj coming out of room and running. And the seva is going to catch him. Maharaj, come, come, come here. They could not understand the mood of Bhavan Goswami Maharaj. And the sannyasi, when, when the sevak took Bhavan Goswami Maharaj inside room, then the sannyasi speaking, you see the condition of Guru, uh, condition of Maharaj, Gurudev. Old age is very painful. You see the condition. This is their Guru Darshan. So if there is no Guru Darshan, that's why, you know, that is the reason for, for why Prabhupada always used to maintain secrecy about taking prasadam, sleeping, going to bathroom, because people can develop material idea. We are learning it from him. Nobody can see our eating openly. By chance they can develop some. That's why, Prabhupada used to say, that is why I am maintaining this kind, because they can think wrongly. Big problem can be there. So now we find that if Bani Shiva, I mean Guru Shiva, I mean you will have to pay attention to Bani Shiva. If not so, then fall down is a must. So there is two things, very important. 
One is, if we are going to do Guru Vaishnav Seva, that is, the, that is the topmost opportunity to go to Golok Vrindam. That is the easiest way to go to Golok Vrindam it is to serve pure Guru Vaishnav, but with some Tattva Siddhanta. Without knowing the Tattva Siddhanta of Guru Vaishnava, if you can try to save a big problem. So, Prabhupada speaking, if they are not, if they are not having any Guru Darshan, how they can go to Bhagavan? Even Guru Darshan is not matured in their life, how they can expect they can get Darshan of Bhagavan? First of all, Guru Darshan. So, two important things I say, one is Guru Vaishnava Seva is the easiest way to go to Golok Vrindavan. And at the same time, Guru Vaishnava Seva is the easiest way to go to hell. Both same. is the easiest way to go to hell. So easy to go to hell very quickly. If you like to go to hell, then you can go to pure Guru Vaishnava and try to find some fault. Body defects, body defects or activity defects. That's why Rupa Goswami was writing Drishta, this sloka in Upadesha Amrita. Vapusya dosha. So, we should not find any fault with pure Guru Vishnu. We, could no, we should not blame Guru Vishnu. Be careful. So, on those days, I was discussing very carefully about the condition of bodnet soul, mukta and badha, mukta purush and badha, mukta, you know, I was, vidya, avidva, I was discussing that those are ignorant, avidva, those who are grasped by Abhidva, they are going to feel that whatever happening, it is oriented with our body, mind, everything. Therein, are whatever happening, everything, oh, I am pain, I am feel, paro opi manute anartham tat kitan chavi paddhate. I already told two or three times, previous days, Jivatma pure. Also, two days ago, I was speaking, Kala karma guna dhino deho ayam pancha bhautika katham anyangstu go paed sarpa grasa yatha jaya para. How, we, how is that possible? that one bonded soul can save another bonded soul? How possible? How is possible that one bonded soul can save another bonded soul? It is practical experience from our childhood we know. Night time, suddenly one barrage, you know, water barrage, break down and all the reserved water, gallons of water, going to flow in the village and town, all inundated, not inundated, all dying. They are sleeping. Suddenly, suddenly they discovered they are in the pool of water. How possible? Even mother cannot save the very small baby, baby going. Mother watching and crying, but small baby going away in the water current. Husband going away. Father going away, mother going away. Who can save whom? Who can save whom? Even in the, in the history of where, that was the very dirty history. What was that? That Pakistan people wanted to kill all common people in Bangladesh. I was then 72. I was very small boy. Hello, all family members. Hey, you, you stand in queue. They are standing in queue. All members. 
They are standing in queue, then taking the machine gun, all. This is cruel, all. So painful. Or Pakistani soldier coming and firing this way. All people. Some of them leaving father and mother jumping into water like our Tibika Maharaj. Like our Tibika Maharaj, you know? The disciple of Prabhupada. Follow. He was bound to jump into the current of water, Padda Nadi. It's like ocean. And swimming very secretly. Down, you know? Like submarine. Swimming, taking oxygen, watching. Tuck again. This way, by swimming, he was successful to come in Bharat. To become Bharat. So pain. In front of me, in front of him, he saw people kill. Wow. Muslim people killing all Hindu people. So pain. So my point is that if some epidemic break out, like the case of Corona, who could save whom? In Italy, one film star, he is crying with, with his with sister already died. Sister already died out of Corona. He is a Man, I don't know the name. It came in paper, people told me. He's crying day and night, even for, you know, even for wife, one for sister, nobody coming. Somehow she will have to be taken na, to some place to give under mud or throw in somehow, but nobody coming, out of fear. He also cannot take risks because if he develops corona, he also can die. In corona period, all father, mother, children, each, everybody, they are going to throw each other. In pavement, in pavement, people walking out of corona effect, fall down, die. Nobody touching. How you can say that you can save him? How you can say that you can save your boy, son? No guarantee. No guarantee. This wall is unsavable. You are foolish. You cannot realize. You should open your eyes to watch this fact. That the whole world is unstable. Any time, any moment, I can go away from this world. If I go away, you cannot go with me. Maybe you love me. To some extent, but you cannot go with me. You will have to go individual journey. It is called individual journey. Your ticket coming, you will have to go. Nobody can go with, oh, we can go with you. No. Your ticket coming, you can go. My ticket coming, I can go. This is a follow. This is a condition. So Kalo karma gunadhino deho ayam pancho bhodika. Whole body and my destin, destiny, destiny, all depend upon my previous karma fall. According to the maturity of my karma fall, whatever result coming in front of me, I am bound to accept, accept it. One has to accept it. No other way, no alternative. One has to accept it. They can say, no, I cannot, I can take the, no, this will have to, this will have to accept, yeah. So, kal karma gunadhino, kal, mane maha kal time, kal karma, your karma, and gun, gun mean material modes of nature. All, every jivatma is controlled by this three things. Kal karma gunadhino, dehoyam, deho ayam, pancha bhotiko. This body is made up of five elements of this nature. So how one can save other people? I can save you. Who can, how can save? No guarantee. I have seen one day, that time age was very small age. Now small means young age. One day, after Aruti, I watch one snack 
going to catch one frog, frog, one sack poisonous, and catch one frog, and frog is out of fear, like to, but the snack cannot swallow because the frog is size, big, big size. I am going near the snack to watch. Everybody say, don't go, don't go, snack is there. You are, say, you are foolish. I am going near to the snack to watch the condition of the frog. Everybody shouting, don't go. I say, now frog is there in mouth. He cannot bite anybody. Anyway, and I am not going to disturb him, disturb the snack. I like to watch the condition of the frog. A frog out of fear stands still, cannot speak anything, even cannot make any sound, nothing, only stands still. Now, my last moment of my life, the last moment. Now, this is the last moment of my life. Who can save me? Who can save me? So the snake can sw swallow the frog anytime. This is the same condition with you, me, everybody. Everybody same. Because our death is like the snake. Our death already half, we are half caught, half body caught. Yes, like the snack, half body of the frog. The hour we took birth, from then onward, the snack, I mean death, going to get ready, catching us. Only you will have to wait for the, the time when you can go under the, under the food sack. Half caught. You are also. Everybody. Ma already dead. I mean the snack. Catching us. You, me, everybody. Only the time. You will have to wait for the time to come. When totally shut. In this condition. You like to enjoy. In this condition. How you can feel. Enjoying mood. How you are feeling? Enjoying mood? I don't know. I cannot understand how people feeling. Enjoying mood. I can enjoy. How? If man, if one man is given the order, hang to death. If one man is given order by judge for hang to death. Just in the morning time, 5.55, that the man can come who is helping you to die. One man coming to help you to die. And whenever he is going to put the black cloth in the face and praying, never mind, I am not going to kill you. That the man who is going to arrange, only it is the order of judge. I am just one instrument. Don't be angry with me. I am not going to kill you. You excuse me. After that, he is going to put the knot in the proper place, tuck, and the down platform, cha. Now condition is that if you are asking that man in the just previous night, ten o'clock, you like to take some uh, and a chicken or biryani or whatever you like to take. If you are going to ask, suppose, or you like to take paramana, sweet ball, whatever you like, but what you like? He can give any answer. He is counting the time for death. He, he can feel disgusted. He can feel disgusted with, with this kind of foolish question. Because he is going to die morning time, 5.55. How he can feel enjoyment by eating sweet rice or, you know, fish or meat, or chicken, biryani. <laughs> How you can say? Same thing with us. Gorkisar Baba wanted to clarify this point. Same thing, Gorkisar Baba wanted, but nobody understands. One Griyasa devotee coming here from Santipur, he is going to meet with Babaji Maharaj. Babaji Maharaj is asking, Where from you are coming? I am coming to Santipur. For why? But to Bhajan in Dham. You are coming alone or with wife? Wife also coming. You both are, you and your wife staying. Together? Well, no, no, we are Banprastha. Wife staying separately, I am saying. 
and whatever cooking, the cooking together. Why cooking? I am eating. Why cooking? I am eating. So what you have taken today? What you have taken today? Today actually brinjal fry and actually moong dal. This way is going to explain. Babaji Maharaj becomes very unhappy and thinking, how is that possible? You are missing everything and you are searching for brinjal fry by, you know, moong dal. You are missing everything. All your, everything gone from your life. But he cannot realize what Babaji Maharaj wants to say. Babaji Maharaj wanted to say that you are missing Krishna, who is our heart, the only property of the infinity world. And how in this condition, if you are going to lose your money, how much pain you are feeling? Now you see. If you are losing one penny, how much pain? Then you are losing not money, you are losing the real property. Babaji Maharaj is speaking. Even if you are going to lose your property, I mean, money, gold, everything, you know, how, how you will feel? I'm very sad. But how then you are going to take brinjal fry and dumb streak? Dumb streak, you know? You don't know. Sajina data, dumb streak, very nice. You know, how you are chewing dumb streak, whereas you are losing everything? Eh? How is possible for you? Bhavi was speaking. So, the moment you can realize that you are missing the actual property, from then onward, you cannot feel happiness to take mango, sweet ball, chana rasa, but you are not feeling separation. You have no relationship. You have no relationship with Guru Vaishnava Bhagavan in true sense. In true sense, you have no relationship with Guru, Vishnu, Bhagavan. No, in true sense. If so, then why you are not crying? Then why you are not crying? That you are missing the only property. The only property you have that you are not missing. That is called Krishna. How is it possible for you to take nice, nice prasadam? So pure Guru, Vishnu, they have no time to take prasadam. No time. If they are taking, if you watch them, how they are taking? Like dog. Okay, okay, go, go, go. Watch them. Very quickly. No time. They can give maximum 10 minutes. Not that from one hour can see Chana Rasa, Bhuspanda coming. No time. Then if they are sleeping properly, if they are eating, then who can do bhajan? Who can save whom? So, in fact, nobody can give protection to me and you. Even my father cannot give protection to me, mother cannot give, husband or, you know, children, I mean, my boy and so on, nobody can give protection. The only protection we need is called Nam Prabhu. We can arrange the situation in such a way, we can arrange our bhajan under the guidance of Gurudev in such a way, so that at the time of our death, living body, we can remember Hare Krishna, Bhagavan. Antime Narayana Sritihi. Memory should be there. Memory, should, memory for money is there, because you have given so much energy for money. That's why memory is there for money. But if you are going to give energy for Bhagavan, his bhajan, surely at the time of death, you are going to remember Bhagavan. Bhagavan is so merciful. Bhagavan is so merciful at the time of death, immediately can come in front of you. Well, I am here. Come with me. But without doing bhajan, uh, how you can remember Bhagavan at the time of death? And if you cannot remember Bhagavan at the time of death, then all your bhajan is useless. Bhajan is useless, no? What is the, what is the meaning of bhajan? 
Bhajan means at last moment, so that I can remember Bhagavan at last moment. But if I cannot remember, then I can go to some other place. I cannot go to Bhagavan. Then what is the utility of my energy? So much energy I give, so much. But it's a little big problem. So, those pure devotees, Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava, for them, this world is like a dreamland. Though they are in this body, but stay, still they are not involved with anything. They are not involved with anything. They are here, what to do? But they are not involved with anything. Follow. There is a condition. And it is written, those who are Paramahansa, they are leading this, their life in such a way that you can go mad by watching the word. This is like the case of Gorkisar Bhavi. Some young boys, naughty boys, very dangerous. They are going to speak all rubbish to Gorkisar Bhavi Maharaj, throwing stone to Bhavaji Maharaj. Dirt, throwing stone. This is what they are doing. They are doing all mischievous activities. Whereas, they have no idea that he is Paramahansa Guru Vaishnava. Babaji is not going to shout. Babaji is not going to... Uh, Babaji is only speaking, well, you are throwing stone to me. Eh? You are disturbing me. I can go to Yashodama and speak. I can go immediately like and your son doing. That's mean he is always watching Krishna. Whatever doing, all done by Krishna. Any condition I am put into, all the arrangement of Krishna, Asrishya Bhapadaratam, Pinashtumam, Adarsanad, Marmahatam, Karutuba, Jatha Tatha Vibhidudhatu Lamputa, Matpananathasthu, Matpananathasthu, Svayvanapara. This is their Paramahansa Darshan. They are not going to find any fault with the material world. As if they are in dream, dreamland. They are not going to chide anybody. They are not going to beat anybody. Are he is speaking all rubbish to you. Some group of people speaking to Tulsidas Ji, Tulsidas, who is a Ram Bhakta, great Ram Bhakta. Speaking to him, that, that sadhu always criticizes you. Baba, that sadhu always speaking all rubbish against you, criticize you. Then to Siddhaji Maharaj speaking well, then I can beg, uh, I can uh, beg ma uh, some coin, those time coin, I can make a bhajan kuti in front of my bhajan kuti. But you don't understand what I say. You don't understand Baba what I say. He is criticizing you all the time speaking all rubbish. Then to Siddha speaking, that is why I am speaking. I can beg and I can make one bhajan kutir in front of my bhajan kutir so that he can go on, go on finding fault with me. I can get the scope to rectify me and go to Bhagavan. I cannot find my own fault. I cannot find my own fault, na? So he is uh, my friend, he is going to point out my fault, he is going to, hey, you are doing this. Then I can rectify myself the, and go to Bhagavan very quickly. That is very good. He is my friend. So, one pure Guru Vaishnava never going to think anything negative way. For some teachings, for some teachings they are sometimes speaking heavy. You don't understand. For our teachings, they are speaking sometimes heavy. They are in such a position that they have no interest to find any fault with others. But still, to give some, you know, to give some, you know, example, is doing this, don't do this, don't go there, is they are speaking sometimes. They are really less interested, but sometimes they are doing, but that is not their fault-finding mission. Sometimes they are bound to speak heavy, but be sure 
that is not their fault finding mission. They are speaking to check us. They are going to point out. That is the condition. So, one pure Vaishnava, if somebody is speaking all rubbish against him, he is not going to speak anything. No stubito no nindeto kurvata sadhu asadhuva badato guno doshabhyam baryitam samadik muni. Samadik muni, who is having equipoised, balanced darshan. Equipoised means balanced darshan. He is not going to, because balanced darshan can help you to see everything equal darshan. Not bad, good, this, that, not that. So, one Paramahansa sadhu, if somebody is going to give some garland to me, to that sadhu, he is not going to appreciate, oh, you are giving garland to me, so I appreciate not. He is going to speak all rubbish to him, still he is not going to speak all rubbish, I mean, not going to speak. This way, They are not going to take, they are not going to accept anything, they are not going to accept anything done, I mean this magic done by the three modes of nature. Three modes of nature, always playing some drama, three modes of nature, or what? But those pure sadhu, though in this material world, not going to accept anything, any Maya, Maya always playing with three modes of nature. Three modes of nature he, in you, that is the Maya that we are going to control you by three modes of nature. We are dancing, crying, everything. Like a toe, like the puppet dancing on a chain, they are doing. So, but pure devotees, if somebody speaks all rubbish to him, he is watching at him, but thinking that one it is one kind of drama of Maya Devi. Otherwise, why is going to beat me or speak all rubbish to me? No reason. Follow. This way, one pure devotee always thinking what all happening. Guna guneshi vartanti iti matya no sajjati buddha. One Rajagun going to collide with Tamagun. Bha, dhoom, dham. Rajagun, all over the world, wildfire. This president of Russia speaking, oh, I can see. What? Eh? And uh, they, that country is speaking, well, I am getting the help of European country, I can also see. Who are you? All arranging atomic bomb, everything. Uh, who is going to kill whom? Foolish. Also, we have seen all big, big personalities. They wanted to prove themselves the boss of this whole world. Like Einstein, like, you know, like Napoleon, Napoleon Bonaparte or Hitler. Where are they gone? Where are they gone? We like to see their face. Where are they gone? But they wanted to say, I am Napoleon Bonaparte. Huh? Where did you say Hitler? I can see. But where are they gone? All vanish. Push. Banis in the air. This is our life. And in this condition, everybody is going to express some false ego. So if you can realize, then never, 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 you cannot express any false ego. Yesterday I told you, no? the day you can realize your infinitely small position with respect to the, in respect to this infinite world, you can laugh. Who am I? What is my existence? How I can? A teeny existence, it is the highness of Bhagavan. He is, he is helping me to speak Harikatha. His, his, his highness. I have nothing to do. What I can do? That is why Shukdev Goswami you know, spoke in front of Parikshit Maharaj. Parikshit Maharaj Actually, it depends upon the capacity of that bird, that how much high position that bird can fly. 
and how long? How long and, and how high? And what height that bird can fly? It depends upon his own health. I mean, because we have seen some birds are there from here, pa, there. From there, pa, here. No, not, not flying for a long time. Yes. In the morning time, you can see all small birds there. Tuck, here, ta, here. From here, 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 this. But other birds we have seen, prison, prison, all, you know, vulture, they can, they can fly hours after hours. They cannot take rest. And it depends upon their capacity, what height they can maintain. It depends upon. Every bird, every bird, can, every bird cannot maintain the same height. Every bird cannot, surely, how many? So similarly, I cannot say that I am speaking very nicely. According to the capacity, I am in the Kipa, Guru Varga, I am speaking. So all sadhu, I mean those who are pure sadhu, according to their capacity, Sukhdev Goswami is speaking. I am, I am trying my best, but I cannot say it is a final. But according to the capacity, Birds can maintain the height and the time of their flying time. It depends upon. Follow what he said. So pure sadhu never going to feel disturbance if sometime, if somebody going to fight with them, speaking rubbish, putting all politics, they are not speaking. If they are feeling tension, then how they can speak Harikatha? You are you don't understand. To speak Harikatha, they should have a link with that. Na? If link is broken, how they can speak Harikatha? If there is no network, how we can watch your you know, mobile? Network is not there. Same thing. Na? Network is not there. Guru Vaishnava in touch with Bhagavan, Vaikuntha. That's why all Aprakita, Sabda, Brahma, Kaning. The moment stop, they cannot speak. There is a condition, no? same thing. So, one thing Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, that Atmaram, Paramahansa Atmaram, sometimes it can be seen that they are maintaining lifestyle like a material man, like Dump and Dev, like Gorgisar Baba, Bhongshidas Baba. What? What do you say? Not paying attention. People speaking so many things. Yes. Big, big eyes, only coping. This hair, big eyes. They are not paying any attention to this material world. You think they are in the material world. But they have no attention what is happening in the material world. Babaji Maharaj used to go to marketplace. No money. When the market is almost over, one... 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, market man already everything going. Who can buy? Because mo morning time market said, sometimes they are throwing some potato, some cucumber, some this guard they are throwing. Hey, who can carry? Because then Bhavajima is going to carry those items and going to wash in the Ganga water and cutting very piece into pieces and now singing song and going to cook around 2 o'clock over. He is singing oh, nicely. And after going to offer to Bhagavan maybe 3.30 or 4, after that what happened? Nothing, no uh, species or no, uh, somehow going to cook any. Follow. And going to offer. Follow. You can go mad, you cannot believe. Someday, Gorkhisar Bhavaji Maharaj find one brinjal, brinjal. Somebody throw, maybe, I mean, in the marketplace, Bhavaji Maharaj is going to bring, and after that, going to cut into pieces, and after that, no cooking. Follow. As a prasad, going to take green. Oh, so nice. Green. But as a prasad, I'm taking it. Sometime, no cooked rice, cooked, no, no, no cooking. Only rice there, only washing 
in Ganga and offering to Bhagavan and taking the rice with salt. I'm so happy. Ah, ki nai, wa nice, so tasty. So tasty. Babaji Ma, laughing. Ah, when Brinjil taking, na, ah, so nice, Babaji Ma, laughing. So tasty. You think they are mad. They are not mad. They pass away to the transcendental world. Only you discover they are here. So sometimes, those pure Guru Vaishnava, they are acting like a man, dumb and deaf. Cannot hear, cannot hear. Like mad. Purposely. Purposely. Some Siddha Mahatma in Vrindavan, he was automatically news spreading that he is Siddha Mahatma. Hello. He is staying in the forest where you cannot go even one step. There is so much throne. And inside that throne is saying, because other people can come and disturb. Oh, my son is sick. You have blessed me this way. Still people used to come. So some sadhu we know, they used to arrange the situation in such a way that common people cannot get the scope to disturb him. Like one Babaji Maharaj in Vrindavan. What happens, you know? Everybody coming to him to disturb. He cannot do proper bhajan. So finally he took decision, what? He is discussing with one sweeper man, sweeper man, low caste. He is speaking, Gopal, you can uh, help me? What help, Baba, you need? You have your young girl, na? Uh, one girl, uh, yes, I have. You can, uh, you can send your young girl she can sit in front of my bhajan kutir with one chair. Well, and then what she can do? Nothing. Only she can sit there. This is seva. I can give some pranami. Pranami. Only your girl can sit in front of my bhajan kutir. Nothing to do. He need, she need not enter. On the outside, that is enough for me. Then all people come. Oh, Baba Ji is, is going woman association. That useless. Can go away. We thought is pure devotee. <laughs> Gone. Purposely. Sometime, sometime Guru Vaishnava purposely doing. Purposely they are doing. They are keeping so heavy personality so that common people cannot come. Maharaj cannot feel. They can feel ten times before talking anything. He is purposely maintaining a heavy personality. He is very soft. Very soft, but purposely. He is meeting heavy person, so that common people cannot disturb. Follow. People cannot answer. So, it's really a miracle. Those, na kuriyad badet kinchit na dhayet sadhu asadhuva atma rapmo atma ramo anaya vritva charet jarabat manihi. Na kuriyat na badit kinchit na dhayet Shadu Asaduba Atma Ram Anaya Vritva Charit Jarabat Muni. Like like material man, like dumb and we can move around. Purposely. It can exhibit this kind of mood so that people cannot disturb. Now Bhagavan speaking, Uddha, be careful if some some of my devotee, Shabda Brahmani Nishnato non Isnayat Pare Jodi, Samahastasho eh? Samafalo, He Adhinu Miva Charataha. What is this? Shabda Brahmani Nishnato non Isnayat Pare Jodi, Samahastasho Samafalo, He Adhinu Miva Charataha. What speaking? Uddhav, if some devotee, my devotee, is having good knowledge in Sabda Brahma, Sabda. Sabda Brahman in Ishato. In Sabda Brahma, is very worse. But he has no direct feeling about the Seva. Eh? Pare Jodi, Para Brahma, Pare Jodi, mean? Parayodhi means Parabrahma. He is very worse in Sabda Brahma, 
but have no direct experience, love, full relation with Bhagavan. But he can speak. He memorizes everything. Bhagavan speaking, it is useless. If somebody having Shabda Brahma knowledge, Shabda, you can speak, but I have no direct feeling about my seva. It is useless. How it is useless? But just like one cow. You are going to keep cow in Goshala. Why? So that you can get milk and offer to Bhagavan. And this way, no? So Bhagavan speaking, what is the utility of Gomata to get milk? And you can offer to Bhagavan, I mean to me. And you can also take prasadam, this is the milk. If not so, then what is the utility of, of maintaining Gomata? I mean, Goseva go is very important. Bhagavan giving this example. Gomata giving milk or not. But still, always I am going to catch the leg of Gomata. I am not touching anybody, you know it very well. Nobody. But whenever I reach, I kiss my Gomata first. First duty, I can go and embrace and kiss in the face. You can hate. You can hate. But I kiss. I love so much. Because it is a benefit in the way of devotional activity. I embrace tightly. And they also I feel very comfortable in my lap. I am speaking, you are taking alone, not giving anything to me, they are getting grass. <laughs> <laughs> you are taking along, not giving to me. Eh? What is the behavior of mother? What? I am speaking this way with them. So, Bhagavan speaking, if cow is important for milk, if milk is not there, and so, if somebody having a sizable knowledge in Shastra, but no practical knowledge, I mean direct feeling about my seva, what is the utility? Because my Gurudev can, in, can, what my Gurudev can give, what I can expect? Some Shastra Gyan knowledge? No. Gurudev can give the direct feeling of Seva. Gurudev can inculcate or can give that direct feeling what Guru Mahal is having. And that I can give to me. Then I can dance. A seva is such a thing. Otherwise, if Guru Mahal can only... Uh, uh, scripture and cannot give me any direct feeling of seva, how I can? Bhagavan Sri Krishna speaking, if somebody having sizable knowledge of Shastra can speak something, vast knowledge, but have no direct feeling about my seva, then whatever energy, then whatever energy that man, I mean that, that so-called Man, devotee given in learning Shastra, all useless. Follow what Bhagavan seeking is having vast knowledge in Shastra, okay. But all his vast knowledge, what he acquired, I mean God, in his life, by learning Shastra, memorizing, so much energy, so much energy was there involved in it. So much energy was involved. So much energy, if somebody getting Shastra, oh my God, you check, check up his life. He's giving so much energy. So much energy is giving. Bhagavan speaking, all his energy, all his effort, all his endeavor, everything, all useless can go into water. Water mean useless. He, Adhanu, is written, what speaking? Bhagavan speaking, all is useless. He adhenu mivak charataha. Like one bandha, bandha means one cow not giving birth to any baby. Then is called, is called useless cow. Useless cow. Like useless cow, all your sastra gyan, whatever knowledge you think you have, you think you demand. You demand that you have sastra knowledge, but what is the utility? Bhagavan speaks, no utility, what you can do? All useless, Bhagavan, all the energy given, all the energy given by him, all the energy given by him in his life for learning shastra, all useless. Because 
No, direct feeling of seva. Follow, Bhagavan speaking. Tomorrow I can discuss about this, you can hear so nice, uh, different slokas are there. So, Bhagavan speaking that one pure devotee, he is not involved in anything. Like the air blowing, that the air blowing, but air is not involved in anything. Bhagavan speaking, like the sun god giving sunlight, but is still not involved in anything. Air everywhere blowing, but still untouched by, I mean, not involved in anything. This way, one pure sadhu, paramangsa, he must maintain this kind of life. I mean, is there, but still untouched. Untouched. Follow by anything. Now Bhagavan speaking that this kind of my creation, everything, jashang no me pavano ango karamo situt bhavo prana nirodhamasyo lilavo tarif sita janmo vasad bandhyam giram tvam Vibhriyat no dhiraha. What speaking? What speaking? Bhagavan speaking. Jasyam no me pavano mango karamo sthitud bhavo prana niro damasyo lelavatare psita janamo basat bandhyam giram tvam vibhriyat no dhiraha. Bhagavan speaking. My devotee, what is the speciality you know? Bhagavan speaking. Udhav. What is the speciality of my devotee syndrome? They are not talking anything, having no relationship with me. They are not talking, they are not talking useless speech. They are speaking anything, anything related with me. If no relationship with me, that kind of speech they are not speaking. That kind of word, speech, they are not speaking. There is no connection with me. They are speaking, bye, 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 not speaking. If there is my topics, my relationship, my, I mean, any relations, then they are speaking, not they are speaking. Jasyang nami pavana manga karma sittut bhava prana nirodham asyo. If there is no topics of my transcendental activities, my birth, there is no, if there is no topics of my karma, transcendental activities, or birth, or anything, lila, if no connection, that kind of speech, devotees never speaking, they never indulge in useless talking. They never indulge in useless talking, never. They have no time. They are not feeling it. They are not talking. If there is any link with my lila, my Rupa, Guna, Dhamma, Nama, then they feel intra. Okay, now it's nice. They can speak. Bhagavan speaking this way. This way they come. Jasyam no me pavana manga karma stittat bhava prana nirodham asyo lila avatare psit janamo basat bandhyam giram tvam vibriyat no dhiraha. They are never, they are not speaking like that. Only they are speaking about, if there is a topic of my kirtan, they can speak. No topic, not speaking anything. They keep silence. And all different kind of symptoms, Bhagavan speaking, that I can discuss tomorrow, I think, tomorrow time cannot promise, how you can realize his devotee by his activities. Bhagavan going to speak the symptoms, you can watch, they are very much interested about me. They feel very happy. If any topics of my seva, oh, I can do seva. If no topics of seva, material, no. Yes. What to speak about pure devotees, I myself. I was taken, I was taken to Tipura. How much expenses? Purushottam knows. 
How much expansion they spend? By plane, I need to go. I don't like to go because they touch my bag, I hate. But what to do? I went there for Kartik Mass, whole Kartik Mass to speak there. But whenever I reached there, I never went there in my life. The environment, I, I was not feeling suitable. Finally, I was cooking myself, anyway something, and to go and speak Harikata, the whole Kartik Mass. But when I reached the temple to speak Harikatha, I sit in the Basasan, I was feeling disgusted. You cannot believe. I feel disgusted from my heart. Already I am getting getting answer. This is this is not the appropriate place for you to speak Harikatha. Go away from here. One night, only for one hour speak, immediately I go. And I told Purushottam to get ticket, immediately I go away. Immediately, I cannot say one second. Because wastage of time for my Kartik Bratha. At least today also I have my time, because previous, previous day of Kartik Bratha I started. Akadoshiti Viva. So I have still chance, still my chance to do complete Bratha, I cannot break. In between I cannot do any journey. Immediately I go, next morning. So I don't feel it comfortable. You don't know. Many times it happens so. I was forcefully taken in Karakpur, one temple, one temple of Sila Bhakti Kumu Santogoshi Maharaj. When he gone from world. They arranged my Harikatha. They arranged one room for me where I stay, I somehow cook and wild thing and take and go and sit. But when I sit in the Basasan, Surrounding situation I don't like. As if Harikatha not coming from inside. Immediately come, night time he call Maharaj. Maharaj, excuse me, though I know you love me very much, you respect me, but I don't like to stay here anymore. But Julan, Julan, you know, Julan, swing Julan, Harikatha, seven days, ah, five days, sorry. Immediately I took my Maharaj, you permit me, I can go away. I don't like to speak Harikatha. Why Maharaj? I cannot say why. I don't know why I don't like to speak here. He started crying, brushed into tears. He brushed into tears, Maharaj. You go away from. Well, I know you need not speak with this environment. We, some limited devotees, can stay. Separate time we can give to you. Then I started thinking, he is actually sannyasi, is crying. I should not go away. I am not coming for money. Nowhere. No Harikatha for money. When first time I went to Siliguri, I was taken in a marketplace. If you see that place, almost slum area, then all devotees who go with me, Maharaj, you can speak here Harikatha. No, 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 we can go away. But I took decision. It is the arrangement of Bhagavan. If I go away by watching this dirty condition, then Bhagavan cannot excuse me. Bhagavan can say, you want love puja pati. I can speak Harikatha here. I have my everything recording. You can go mad. In the market area, up, no roof, nothing, only shed one. Very mud down. All devotees used to come. Maharaj coming from Bengal, you know, there. And that was the topmost Harikatha in my life. In course of Harikatha, I started crying. You can, you can ask Purushottam. No money, nothing. Very poor area. But that Harikatha was topmost Harikatha. Realization, so in the morning and evening, both time. Both time. Five or six hours, continuous Harikatha. Recording is there, you can watch me, I can understand. That was the feeling coming. So, those devotees, they, so many, so many, so two or four brahmacharis went with me. They speaking, Maharaj, it cannot so happen, you can speak Harikatha there. They suggesting, Maharaj, it is not possible you can speak Harikatha here, no standard, not. I said, no, I can speak Harikatha here. I can speak Harikatha. It is a testing of Bhagavan. Bhagavan testing me. I want money, position or what? 
So many devotees, they used to come to hear Aikata, but no money. Okay, no money, no money. I'm beggar. I don't want money. So I always keep attention to the seva, bani seva of my Guru Varga. I'm not paying, paying attention to in which environment I am allowed to speak Harikatha, what kind of amount can come, how many rich people can come, nothing. So, I can discuss this point tomorrow, today time cannot permit. So, you can remember very carefully what is that uh, follow. Kalo karma gunadhino deho ayam pancha bhautika katham anyan sugopayet sarpa gusta jaya apara. Follow. Bancha kalpaduru sikhe pasindu bebeche vati dhanang pavane bhavishna pyo namo. Now do kitan little bit. After that I can go. Patitanang Pavanebho Vaishnavyo Namo